last week, Martin asked me to do something rather surprising. What types of women are sent to swan around exclusive Knightsbridge stores, have lunches paid for, and spend nights in hotels in exchange for cash and favours? I'm about to meet one such woman. To protect her identity, she's requested that her image be concealed. So what do you do? I'm a mystery shopper. Mystery shoppers are volunteers who pretend to be normal customers. They rate the staff who serve them and report the results to the owners. The identity of the mystery shopper is kept secret from the establishments they visit. I've done some of the most exclusive shops in London. I've tried on some of the most expensive shoes. I've shopped for bags that cost over a £1,000 each. You don't get to keep the products, but you do get a small fee. And if you're given a mystery shopping job in a restaurant or cafe, you could be quids in. I could eat out for free for the rest of my life if I wanted to. I do jobs that where I pop in for a coffee on the way to work. I fit it around my lifestyle. Our mystery shopper found companies to register with by searching for them online. They send you a checklist of things that you have to do for that specific job. Once you've got the checklist, you toddle off to your appointment, do what you're told, come back and write a report. And if you're clever, you can make mystery shopping pay for a free night in a hotel. Most likely I'd be asked to check the room out, have dinner at the hotel. I might be asked to make a request in the middle of the night. Maybe I'd like an extra pillow or something. And then check out the breakfast in the morning before I departed. Well, it sounds like quite a lot of fun, actually, but is there a downside or a catch? Well, one catch, I guess, is that you have to pay for the meals and services you get, and then you get refunded by the company when they pay you, which is normally the end of the following month. So is it easy to become a mystery shopper? Very easy. Well, for anyone starting out, I'd recommend Gutbusters, who always have lots of work, and some companies you can sign up with on the internet there and then, and they'll let you do a sort of test job to see whether you're up to scratch. Companies score you as you go along all the time, so make sure you're reliable, conscientious, turning your reports in good time, and you stand much more chance of being picked for the cream jobs. So how much money do you make from mystery shopping? Well, in the last tax year, I made about £500, but better still, I saved £1,500. <laughs>